Hello guys, this is section 7, learning to learn and logs. The first video is Linux logs, all kinds of logs. Now, we're going to be taking a look at our terminal here. Let's go to the root directory. Let's clear this off. Alright, we have a var directory over here. You can see because it is another color, now as a directory, you can see this is a file. This is a var file. Alright, now, files are stored in plain text and can be found in slash var slash log directory and sub directory. Let's take a look at this directory. Let's see slash var and log. Let's see ls. You can see these are log files or different type of files you may have. We have the journal, we have installer, we have HP, we have the GDM tree, we have the apt, we have the cops, we have the distro upgrade, we have the speech dispatcher. Now there are Linux logs for everything. System kernel, the package managers and the boot process. We are going to be using the change directory, which is the CD, a lot in this video. You can see I'm a root user. You can see we have root at Hiro Naka, which is Nakamura, to access log files. Now, the most important file or text file in this directory over here is the syslog file, um, which logs everything but related messages are checked in syslog1. Now we have the syslog and the syslog1. If we can check this script over here, we're going to be viewing the script. Let's say cat syslog. You can see our log, everything we've been doing, every section we've been running on our terminal, the past videos, everything is actually in this syslog over here. Take a look at the second syslog. You can just take a look at that. You can see that it is actually the same as for Linux logs. Linux logs are actually grouped in directories. Now, when we check the slash var and see cd, you see cd to var, you see log, and let's see messages. Let's check that. CCD var CD log CD log okay let's list that and we have our log over here we have slash var slash log slash messages that I just told you earlier this place is actually it stores all activities and data across the global system and we also have the authentication dot log over here and the authentication dot log one over here this stores authentication logs. We can take a look at the script by saying cat auth. You can see this is our authentication log. And take a look at the second one, dot one. You can see the same thing. It's the work in two different ways. And also we have the boots dot log. We have ls and we can just take a look at the boots. You have the boots dot log over here. You say cat. And what this actually do is, this is a repository of all information related to booting and startup. So that's all for this video, guys.